Welcome back to Fallout 3. My name is Ricky, and I have some bad news for you. I recorded an entire episode where we explored Megaton here, and then I went to look at the episode, and yeah, it was just black. It was just black. It was black video in my voice, which isn't that interesting. So we're trying something a little different this time. Hopefully I can go back to recording that way because it works better in the long run, but occasionally it screws up. And I just I just couldn't re-re-re-record that episode, you know? I couldn't go back and do that because I couldn't fake the emotions of seeing Megaton for the first time and exploring and all that. But we are going to explore Megaton a little bit. Um, so here's Megaton... The sheriff's down there. So I did go get a hunting rifle. And then I also got in a shootout with some uh, raiders. Which gave me this pool cue, this switchblade, and these brass knuckles that I'm probably never going to use. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit very briefly before we get started with what we're going to do today. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about a mod that I just installed. That's here at the supply store. It's actually not just here. Um... Activate workbench. Oh, I don't I don't know how to make weapons yet. Do you make weapons in Fallout 3? Huh. I again never played the game, so I don't know. Uh but there's this thing over here that kind of looks like uh not an anvil in the slightest, but it says anvil. I don't know what the anvil is supposed to do in this game, but what it does with this mod is bring up the repair services thing. What this is, is this is my repair. My personal, my character's repair. So that what this is, is there's a, uh, there is a console command that will bring this up. And all that, uh, all it does is instead of having to use the console to bring this up, I have it in game, which is kind of useful. It says it's going to cost me 98 caps to repair this, but it's not actually going to cost me 98 caps to repair all this stuff because I, um, it's paying me to repair the, the stuff. So, all right. So we were... Let's talk to her. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the ball. Uh, yeah, I am. I haven't seen one of you for years. Okay. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. Uh huh. I run Craterside Supply. Okay. What I really do is mostly tinkering and research. What do you uh, research? Hey, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Okay. Help me out, would you? Sure. Uh, I've got plenty to say about life in the vault. Tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or or to come outside for the first time. Okay. Or whatever strikes your fancy. Sure. It was paradise. No, outside place is amazing. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. <laughs> I was in as an ambassador from the Utopia Vault. <laughs> Uh, it was cramped, dark, and the food sucked. Good riddance. That's terrible, but it'll be great for a forward. Ah. So in that sense, it's great. It is great, isn't it? I think you're gonna like it out here. Okay. Here's the armored suit, just to make sure you don't get recycled into something sure. else's food. That'll be good for the book. In fact, wanna help me with the research? Yes. I can pay you, and it'll be fun. If you want, sure. Uh. What sort of pay and work? Dealing with radiation. That doesn't sound fun. Experimental device, and I won't lie, it may include some. No offense, but why is the reading thing like the hard one? I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, maybe even a few of those unique inventions if you do a good job. Interested? Sure. Tell me more. It's a dangerous place out there in the waste, right? Mm-hmm. People could really use a compilation of good advice. Sure. Like a wasteland survival guide. Yeah, why not call it that? I need an assistant to test my theories. Okay. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Sure. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. That's true. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Yeah. Uh, sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to help out. Good enthusiasm. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day games. Yep. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food. Yeah. The dangers of radiation. Uh huh. And how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Uh, okay. Well, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Let's do the food one. Well, food and medicine. Oh well, you can't just throw medicine in there. So they need a good place to find them. This is true. There's an old super 
supermarket not far from here. Okay. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Uh-huh. I'll check the Super Duper Mart. Food is most important. But see if you can get medicine, too. Sure. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Okay. All right, let's go to Super Duper Mart. So, uh, in the episode that I didn't record, I'll tell you a little bit about what happened. Uh, we came into Megaton and discovered that the most helpful person in the entirety of Megaton that actually seen my father. We were looking for my dad, by the way. And the only person who had seen, who knew where to look for my father was the uh, the lady who leads the Children of Adam. And the Children of Adam, of course, are colossal nutjobs that worship radiation. But I guess, I mean, no harm, no foul for the most part. So right up there, she was super helpful. And she told me to go talk to a gentleman named Moriarty at his bar. So I did. And then he sent me out on a quest to go get some money that he, he, uh, so that he claimed was stolen from him. But, uh, then it turns out he wasn't necessarily stolen from him. It may have been, uh, rightfully earned by the person who he said stole it from him. So then I, wait, where am I going? I'm going this way. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where super duper Mart is. I'm just kind of walking. Um, so he, uh, so anyway, and I, I passed my first speech check, which speech checks are super weird in this game uh, compared to Fallout New Vegas. But compared to Fallout f 4, they're exactly the same. They're based on your uh, speech and your charisma chances. Well, Fallout 4, it's just charisma. But in Fallout 3, um, so you always, you always just have a chance. You know, it's never a uh, 100% guarantee like it is in Fallout New Vegas. Either you pat, either you have the speech level or you don't. What is chasing me? Okay. Well, mole rat. There we go. Okay. There we go. Mole rat. Oh, more mole rats. Okay. Well, I can't keep wasting my ammo on mole rats. So weapon, weapons, baseball bat, and heal. And beat the mole rat to death with the baseball bat. I want to point out that mole rats are way tougher in this game than they are in Fallout 4. They really nerfed them a bit. I've been attacked by uh, two, three. I got attacked by one when I went to get the hunting rifle. Um, and some dogs, for that matter. And they do seem tougher in this game than they did in Fallout 4. See about as tough as they do in Fallout New Vegas, I guess. So if this is anything like the Fallout 4 Super Duper Mart, then there's going to be something in it that isn't going to go over so well. Uh, it's ghouls in Fallout 4. I'm guessing it's not going to be ghouls here. I mean, it could be, but I'm guessing not. Nope, but there's some wild dogs attacking somebody. And... None of them. Oh, there's an Enclave robot. I have discovered several locations. Thanks. Yeah. And a knife. I really would like a combat knife, if I'm being honest. Right about now. I would really like it. I really appreciate that robot showing up and uh, taking um, taking those guys away from me. The uh, Those dogs away from me. That was super nice of them. Still in caution. Can I not be in caution? Um, Raiders. Okay, well, let's, let's try and be at least a little bit stealthy about this. Well, stealth just went out the window a bit. I, I know I can get a silenced. Come on. I know I can get a silenced 10 millimeter. Someone has an automatic weapon. I don't like that. Yeah, you guys can come get me, not the other way around. Hey, look, there's some beds in here. I'm going to remember that. There he is. Oh, no, you're probably not that guy, but you have a knife. So I'm going to shoot you in the head. I'm going to shoot you in the head. You have a hockey mask on. Uh, I'll shoot you in the torso, I guess. Could you get closer to me? No? Okay. Well, I'll get closer to you then. Because I really need to shoot you in the head. 
to end you. There we go. Ooh. I'm going to shoot him in the... Wait, hang on. Sorry, his right arm is... No. No. Why? Everything about what you just did was wrong, video game. Just in case you were wondering. Every element. 95% chance to hit. No. Not really. There we go. I am playing tough guy and I killed you. Dead. Look, you're dead. Tell me you're playing tough guy. Ooh, this is easy. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. And level up screen. Anything trying to kill me in here? No, there's a robot. <gasps> Ooh, mini nuke. Ooh, frag grenades. It's in here. Blood pack, buff out, three dirty waters, medex, radex, and a stim pack. Okay. Oh, I found the uh, medicine. Glowing stuff. Nuka Cola Quantum. Nuka Cola. Uh, it occurs to me. Uh oh. But they don't have ice in this world, so they're gonna drink their Nuka Cola's hot. Oi. Okay, hang on. Alright, let's switch to. There we go. 15. Gotta like my odds. I'm just gonna take the risk of shooting him. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. One guy down. One bullet. Why am I a better shot at hitting their arms and their torsos? That doesn't make any sense. And their leg is the best chance I have to hit him? No. There we go. Ah. Ah. Is it possible that I didn't kill everybody before? AP needs to refresh any second. Now, there we go. We'll just shoot him in the head. Oh, look at that. Oh, and someone else is coming for a fight. Okay, there's a lot of them now. Yeah, let's just quickly pickpocket him right now. Stand up. Okay, my AP is refreshed enough that I can shoot him in the head. I hope. There we go. Okay. Now. Come. Okay. I think everyone's gone. Let's loot some bodies. So I haven't really talked too much about the weapons I'm going to use in the game. And so maybe now is not a bad time to do it. Uh, what's in here? This looks like food. Uh, there's a fridge. Vodka. Metal box. Laser pistol. It's a dirty water. Okay. Food storage. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think this may be what I came for. Yep. All right. Let's get out of here. And back to Moira. I'm in less danger. Oh. Uh, that's just a kid. Can't kill kids in this game. Which is fine with me. But I know there's some people on the internet who don't like the fact that Bethesda made it so you couldn't kill kids. It's ridiculous. What kind of monster kills kids? Oh, right. Monsters. Hey, don't mind the smell. Uh, okay. But it's perfectly safe to breathe. Really? I don't doubt that, but let's... So, how's the scaving been? Got the it, food and medicine it from didn't, the super it, it didn't go well. Uh, it wasn't easy, but I got really? the food and medication. You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all... There were raiders. I found raiders and a robot. I don't remember finding a ro... Oh, you know what? I, yeah, I, I saw the robot. I just didn't... I didn't do anything with it. Uh, it was very hard to talk my way past that many people shooting at me with the charisma check. Uh, you know, we'll just go with the standard one, not oh, the charisma check. Really? Raiders and robots? Well, I mean, I didn't activate the robot. Think about checking those doors. Looks like you gotta be careful looting them. Yes, you do. Well, keep what you got. Cool. I traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Sure. This kind of grates after a while. Yeah. Oh, oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it uh -huh. should automatically make most food and drink um, more, um, better. More better. Uh, well, let's continue research. Why not? You need to study a living 
specimen with radiation poisoning. Okay. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. Sure. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Uh... What about radiation? That's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. That's not boding well for me. A bit of radiation oh, just a little bit, so though. Right. Its effects. Oh, well, not a deadly dose, of course. No. Fix you up before that. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll be irradiated. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Sure. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. Mm hmm But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Uh-huh. Okay. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Okay. Okay, so what does this food purifier thing do? Congratulations on your purchase of the tasty, clean sanitizer. Another from a Braxidine chemical. Yeah. Okay. Um, not responsible for any sickness, paralyzation, blindness, or death that may result from unauthorized use. Okay, so I don't know what it does. Uh, let me look at this. Rads plus 9, AP plus 20. So Nuka-Cola Quantum doesn't give you any health benefits. I don't remember what it does in New Vegas. Of course, in Fallout 4, it's amazing. All right, so in the episode that I recorded but didn't work, we found out that my father, who, by the way, lied to me a bit and told me that I was born in the vault, but in fact, I wasn't born in the vault, he wasn't born in the vault, and his brotherhood of steel friend wasn't born in the vault, and we all came when I was a baby. We all went to Vault 101. And also, I think his brotherhood of steel friend might have been Jonas, but I don't know that for a fact. But Moriarty told me that he was going into DC proper, uh, which is some direction from here because I'm not sure where I am in the Washington, in the uh, Maryland, Virginia region of the uh, United States. So next time we're going to go look for him at the Galaxy News Radio place. That's where we're headed next. This has been Fallout 3. Thank you for watching. Come back soon for more Fallout 3.